Today we gather in love and happiness to celebrate the marriage of Demetrius and Yolanda, two exceptional souls destined to be together. Under the sun and next to the sand and the sea, you are here to proclaim your love and your commitment to be together forever. Today is a wedding. Tomorrow is the marriage. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together as life mates and partners. Your love is truly a gift. Demetrius and Yolanda, you chose the beach to exchange your vows. The beach is a place of great transformation. Here the sea stretches out for thousands of miles in front of us. Here the land stretches out for thousands of miles behind us. This very point is where these two earthly elements meet. You'll notice there is not just one point where one begins and the other ends, but rather they constantly blend, moving between each other in a constant ebb and flow, constantly renegotiating their boundaries, each giving and taking in turn. Just like this spot, love is a point of transformation, a negotiation, a giving and taking, an energy transfer that is never the same, yet always perfect in every moment. It reminds us that we are who we are, not the same in every moment, but perfect nonetheless. The most remarkable per moment in life is when you meet the person who compliments you in every way. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. As it is written in the book of Ruth, Entreat me not to leave you, or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts you and me. You cross paths in the most contemporary manner, and during the interval between your initial encounter and the time leading up to your first in-person meeting, you embarked on a joint exploration of the book, The Five Love Languages, which allowed the two of you to open up to each other about your fears, hopes, and dreams. Although you intended to meet at a restaurant for dinner, fate had other plans. Instead, you found yourselves engrossed in a profound conversation inside a car that lasted for five hours. Over the course of the past 10 months, you have developed a profound understanding of yourselves and each other, forging a remarkable and unparalleled bond. Yolanda had envisioned Demetrius as the missing piece on her vision board, and on October 3rd, Demetrius surprised her with a ring Overwhelmed by the preciousness of life, Demetrius dropped to one knee without hesitation and proposed, prompting Yolanda to swiftly embrace her future. Right there in the kitchen, while preparing dinner, Demetrius expressed her deepest sentiments to Yolanda. As an engaged couple, you have continued to engage in reading, prayer, and study, delving into the depths of your relationship. Your love transcends mere emotions and becomes a deliberate choice, an action you undertake. Our love every came unannounced in the middle of the night 
I now invite you to share up your personal vows with each other. I think that has to be part of its miracle. I will write a dictionary of all the words I have used trying to describe the way it feels to have finally, finally found you. I choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in a hundred universes, in any version of reality, I'd find you and choose you. Yolanda, I choose you today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, until all my choices are exhausted. I promise to love you whether you are a steel day or whether you are a hurricane. Yolanda, I choose you. Demetrius, as I stand before you on this sacred day, I am filled with so much joy that we are choosing each other. I am making this covenant with you and before God. I promise to cherish, honor, support, uplift, inspire, and to be your safe haven. You have brought me so much love and light into my world, and you take such great care of me. I am so thankful and full of gratitude. My life is so much better with you in it, and I can't wait to spend all my life with you forever and always, for you are mine at last. I ask you to present the rings, please. These rings, in their unbroken wholeness, are tokens, tokens of your union and of your love. Just as these circles are without end, we know that love is eternal. They represent the enduring trust and affection that you bring to each other today and every day. May they ever remind you that your lives are bound together by devotion, faithfulness, and an inner spiritual bond. God, we ask that you bless these rings and grant those who wear them always to have a deep faith in each other. May they always live together in peace, goodwill, and love. Please, Exchange your rings. Yolanda, this ring I give to you as a token of my love and devotion to you. I pledge to you all that I am and all that I will ever be as your wife. With this ring, I gladly marry you and join my life to yours. Demetrius, I will forever wear this ring as a sign of my commitment and the desire of my heart. Demetrius, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, my faith and our strength together, and my covenant to learn and grow with you. Yolanda, I will gladly wear it. Whenever I look at it, I will remember this joyous day and the vows we've made. We close our ceremony today with a blessing for a marriage by James Dillette Freeman. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements that a marriage should bring. And may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you know your fullness. A mountain needs a valley to be complete. The valley does not make the mountain less, but more. And the valley is more a valley because it has a mountain towering over it. So let it be with you and you. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not out and circle one another. May you succeed in all the important ways with one another and not fail in the little graces. May you look for things to praise often say I love you and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you hope to have good sense enough to take the step back. May you enter into the mystery, which is the awareness of one another's presence. 
no more physical than spiritual, warm and near when you are side by side, and warm and near when you are in separate rooms or even distant cities. May you have happiness, and may you find it, making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find it, loving one another. Demetrius and Yolanda, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. By the power vested in me, I therefore declare your marriage to be bonded in love and pronounce you married. You may kiss. <laughs>